Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and I'm from HaHaGarden.com Today, we're going to talk about the radishes Pure Okay, our first radishes that we've ever planted At uh, Later, we're going to um, pluck them out and see how good they really are Anyways, if you also want to grow radishes, there's a few things you need to do First, you need to pick out a seed Right, so what you do is take some seeds, soak them overnight Right, you soak them overnight so that so, so the floating seeds, if you see some floating seeds, then you can throw them away because they aren't going to grow, basically. So, after you picked out some seeds and you picked out your gardening spot, you all you need to do is take the soil and you need to mix in some compost as well. And then after that, you add some fertilizer. Try to avoid um, fertilizers with high nitrogen. I recommend you use a poly bag that is 14 times 14 inch and or uh, or above. So here is all of the leftovers. Yep, that is every single one. That is a lot. All right, if you've given up on um, planting, on planting, and you still have a lot left, like you know, highly likely, then you can use the you can use the micro greens box, which is oh let me, which is basically like this. So these things are removable and what you do is you just add water to this, to this then you add the thing back, the tray back then you just put in the seeds and it'll become uh, microgreens, right? So over here there's info about like the health benefits of making like of making like the, the seeds into like microgreens So let me read about the white radish for you It contains anti-inflammatory pro uh, properties and good for allergies and good for infections or colds you can see here and there's of course other things so all right so you just need, so i'm almost finished putting back all of the seeds but you need to remember that all of these seeds every single one of them has the potential to go into a radish and one kilo kilo of radish is like 10 10 ringgit and you're also saving a lot of money so that's that While I'm cleaning up, I might as well talk about the vitamins. So it has one fourth of your recommended vitamin C intake, and it help and it has a lot of uh, potassium. It helps with your liver. It helps with like the throat mucus, and and yeah, I think that is about all of the vitamin about the like nutrition and stuff. I might be missing some, but I think that is all. The radish is very low maintaining is because it doesn't really have a lot of enemies however there are three enemies three big enemies and one of them is slugs and snails and weed all right so what we're going to do is that we're going to harvest these radishes right here okay. come on come on come on oh yeah ta-da Ta ah oh no so this one, like the top, uh, the top, uh, just the top grew. This bottom did not grow yet. I do not know why. Next one, I suspect it's just like one root, like earlier. Oh, there. Yep, I told you. It's just one root, like earlier. This one's a lot more impressive, though. So let me put this away. <laughs> right, we've got a few more to go. Mm, okay. Now we're going to do this off camera because this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Alright, so finally, after we dig out all of the others, the last one that we checked actually has the thing. Actually has one. It's just one ball and then just, yeah, I think it's just one ball to be honest. Okay, close. There you go. Ta-da, yep, and... I was right, it is just one ball. Sad, so sad. It's literally just one ball. Look at this. <laughs> it, it, it's just like the top is so big and it's like, wow, this must be big. And then it's just, it's just one ball. Sadness. We actually planted more of more radishes on the ground. So let us go check those out. All right, so here is, so here we are at the place where we planted it on the ground as you can see here that we pl we planted it in a place where there's like a lot of rocks you should not actually do this because um because it makes it harder for the 
um, for the things to grow. Be that is why a lot of them are growing on ground. It's because it is having a hard time growing inside the ground. So we're going to harvest them now. Okay. So this one, uh, this one is not like, yeah, this one shouldn't be too hard. I just need to get rid of the roots. I'm just, just gonna wiggle it, see if that helps it. Come on. Oh, you gotta do this. Eh. Eh. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. There we go. There we go. Ta-da. Now, these ones are a lot bigger, but, you know, they are growing above ground, which is not ideal. But it's fine. There you go. So here's this one. So this one is also very big. But again, it it mostly grew above ground. But yeah, this one's big. Okay, I think these guys are actually fighting for nutrients because they're so close together. So this is why, one, you should not plant it in like a place where there's a lot of rocks. And two, you should space it out more. There you go. Ta-da. Right. This one is relative, it's, you know, small, but it's good enough for me. Okay. Right. And then this one is just, I'll just remove this one because it's easy. Eh. Eh. There you go. This one grew like oddly like this. It just grew like it looks like an L. Now it looks like an L. Nice. Let this continue. Okay. So this one is very small. I'm accidentally poking a leaf. This one is small. So I need to dig it up. <laughs> you know, the sand both makes this harder and and easier. It's easier because since they're above ground, you know, it's easier to take out. It's also harder because the rocks is it's very hard okay let me clean this up okay so this one is also small and the leaves are of course huge all right so we could if we want we could actually let these grow and make them bigger however um i, I uh, we have feel we feel that we did not do a good job so we're going to just fresh, we're going we're just going to start fresh with a new batch i mean this is our first try so it's not like too bad, I suppose, but eh. So this one is small, cute. Yeah, this one is small and cute. Eh. Get out. I got my gloves stuck on the fence. Okay. So in case you didn't realize, this place is very, very noisy from the traffic. It's fine. Oh, this one just got a big chunk. Yeah, I need to break it. And this one is very small again. No, do not drop. No, do not drop. Okay, fine. So you can see this one's small again. It's fine. All right, and that is all. And we're back. Okay, so as you can see here, we have one more. This one is the smallest because even though the, this one was planted around the same time as that batch, um, it didn't grow unlike the others. So it didn't grow until we like moved it and then it started to grow. So now let's just see what is underneath. All right, so I was expecting there to be a lot of bugs or something because since this one didn't grow, I thought something was wrong. But I think I might know what is wrong. So it wasn't bugs. I think it's because one, the soil didn't actually have compost. Two, um, the soil is actually very stiff. So there's a chance it might have not been able to grow at all. So it's that. Because you can tell it's very stiff. Okay, and another reason is sunlight. This one only got three hours of sun. While that one got six hours and then the one at the ground over there got eight hours so i think that's another reason why this one got very little mm. all right so let us like clean up then we'll come back all right we are back and as you can see we've got all of the radish and and the funny thing is that we got all of the generations so we've got like the baby one and then we've got the over matured one Da -da 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 anyway, so um, if you were to leave the rad the radish too uh, in the soil for too long, this is what would happen. <clears throat> it will become rotten. So it may not look that bad right now, but that's because like we cleaned it and stuff like that, right? So you know, uh, I think I'm going to be showing you a video, a clip of taking of plucking of my parents plucking out the ra the radish. All right, so this one, this one is like, this one was fresh five days ago, which is when we plugged these two out. 
but five days ago it was fresh like you know like like this one this one and this one like you know like these but however we didn't wrap it in paper towel we just put it inside the fridge and it became soggy and it started to have cracks so and it's very important if you you put paper towels if you cannot finish your radish right so actually everything on the radish is edible the leaves the radish itself you know etc etc however if you are going to store your radish inside the fridge make sure you cut off the green parts first so basically um af right after you harvest you clean it then you cut this then store in the fridge all right there's a few things i want to say before we leave first um the radish likes to have moist soil moist soil but not soaking soil right so um, do not overwater your radish second do not have any radish products um well um, it, it is believed that you should not have any radish products if you if you are about to take um the traditional chinese medicine because it is said to um like make the the medicine uh have no effect all right i think this is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed bye